may be up against something, but you want to make sure that there's a minimum clearance that you're meeting. Once again, that goes back to the manufacturer specifications. Nearly nine out of ten times, the manufacturer is going to specify something different in the code whenever you're putting something up against something else, right? Okay, let me ask you a question. Here's a, here's a, uh, uh, you guys run, you're doing a closet installation, all right? You're doing the high, low com, uh, combustion, right? Combustion air coming in. You got one coming in low, you got one going up into the attic, right? Anybody put screen up on top of that to keep the insulation from falling down? Yeah? You know that's a violation of the code? Yeah. Not supposed to have screen on there. Says in the code, no screen. Why would they say no screen in the code? So, so it get propped up. That's exactly right. Putting screen, we think, is a great idea, right? We're going to put the screen up there. The customer's not going to complain that they opened up the door and this attic insulation fell in. But the flip side is, is that that, that insulation could plug that up, and then you, what happens? Yeah, right you don't have your right combustion. The physics not working, right? That's the way that, you know, you don't have the high-low, you don't have the air circulating back through there, and then you potentially aren't going to get good burn on the furnace. And then their CO detector is going to go off. Then they're going to call you, and there's not going to be a problem, and you're going to be like, what's going on? So, yeah, you want to make sure. Those are the little things that are in the code that a lot of people don't even know are in there um, that, that have just been kind of industry standard for a long time. I mean, you just always put the screen up there. They said put it up there because, you know what, we don't want that insulation falling in there. Then you find out that you're not supposed to have it up on there because you've got to make sure that you have a clear passageway for that combustion, okay? Also, items in there on spacing and support. You know, what's your support on a, one of the things that we run into and that you guys run into a lot is your support on ductwork. How far is the spacing supposed to be on the straps? What do they say around here? If you're running flex, how far do they want the straps? Four foot, I believe. They're 48 inches? Yeah, 48 inches like code. Okay, I mean, they're kind of sticking with that. Um, a lot of places have gone a little bit smaller, like the 36. 36 is the shortest that I've heard that they want that strap put up. Of course, that's a, the strapping of your flex is one of the most important things you do on your installation, is it not? Because all of us have been up to, on a job where they strap that stuff all jacked up and, and you've got kinks in it and the airflow's horrible and, you know, it's not done right and you have this snake coming out of there and they run it into a one of those triangle boxes and they got four of those ducks running into that triangle box and going out to the other side and it's all messed up. So yeah, making sure that you've got that stuff strapped properly is one of the, you know, one of the most important things that you do.